Yes. Then guess what, y'all? Yes. We got what? us a plus one in the building once again. Yes, indeed. And um, I'm gonna let wifey introduce. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We love, like I said, we love up and coming artists, and this artist has do been doing this thing for a minute, hailing all the way from North Carolina. You know what? We've got King Belly in the building. Y'all give yes, it sir, up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. What's up, Mr. Hello. Are I you can't there? hear you there. Most of I'm here, I'm here, I can yep, hear you. Yep. Okay. There we go. What's up with it? What's up with you? Chilling in the studio right now. Oh, oh. man. You, oh, so you working, you cooking it up. Oh, yes. I just came out the booth. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we love it. Working, working, working. Well, welcome to Spotlight Over. Well, wait, the city. wait, wait. What you working on? Let me know what you working on. Let's give it a live. What you got? What you got? What you just got out the booth I mean, doing? What you dropping? I got a little mixtape coming out, you know, a little um a mixtape I'm about to drop out with different industry beats. Just industry beats. So like okay. beats already been hopped on. I know, that's right. Well, listen, let's get right to it. Why don't you tell um, the DMV and everybody else who's watching, because we don't, we, we're being watched all over King Belly, so this is a, this, this your time to shine, and I want you all to tell people who you are, and go back to the beginning. What made you become an artist? Like, what was it that inspired you to become King Belly? Okay, well, yeah, you know, I got to start off. I go by King Belly. I'm from Fugue River in North Carolina, you know, and, um, I really started rapping due to my story. It was an easy way to tell it. You know, I started doing my freestyles in the beginning. My little freestyles I put on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and people just kept telling me I was I was doing. I, it was hard. It was it was rocking with them. You know what I'm saying? So I took it to the little bit of an extreme. I haven't even never been in the studio until about a year and a half, almost two years ago. So took it to the extreme, and um, I ended up doing a show that I wasn't supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and it got the attention, the right attention. And from that point on, I hopped on the wave. Pocket Style became my manager. I hopped on the wave, joined the Dirty North team, and uh, I've been going up here since. So I love it. Hey man, your team been putting in a lot of work too. Yes, I, I I was reading up. Who they've been working with a lot of people over yeah, there. Like, you, tell me some of the people you got your camp been working with. Um, well, some of the people I've been working with, uh, Tootsie, that's one of the North Carolina artists. You know what I'm saying? We got um, Rennie Rucci, she's a South Carolina artist. I don't work with the PRE family. Um, too many people, you know what I'm saying? My my late Sauce Pack, uh, Rico Barino, um, so Hello, many. Rico. So, yeah. yeah. Listen, so um, I've heard, we heard through the grapevine that you have, you've actually performed alongside of heavy hitters such as Gucci Mane, Petey Pablo, and Pastor Troy. Is it is what we heard true? Is some truth to that? Yes, sir. All the way true. All right. All the way. How was it? It was uh, it was exciting. It was I exciting. That's right. So who was your favorite like, to work with? Who was your favorite artist to work with so far? To work with? Yeah. My favorite artist probably probably Rennie. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like the energy was it was different. You know what I'm saying? Probably with Rennie. So yeah. that was probably like Well then the what are some artist. what are some of the artists that you would like to work with? So someone you haven't worked with yet, but it's they on your list. All right, we got um I got a little list on that. We got the baby. Yeah. Right, then I really want to work with Takeoff. That's a dude. That's a person I'm from the Migos. Okay. I want to work with Takeoff. Then um, Wayne. I want to work with Wayne. And then I want to work with Lucci. So, so okay. It's the hitters. The yeah. Hitters. Okay. The heavy Let's hitters. go. Oh, whoa. Boy, you said the right hope. Rich Homie Quan. I can't forget it. Rich Homie Rich Quan. Homie yes, sir. Quan. Rich Homie Quan. <laughs> Yeah. I like that. That's what's up. Well, and shout out to your whole camp in there too, man. I like. I, I see y'all grinding in there. I see you grind. Well, guess what? Once you put it out in the universe like you just did, we're going to all touch and agree, and you're going to work with those artists in your future. That's right. I like how you think it big. You think it big on them. We won't claim it. And so what you got coming up next? Because I see you when they cooking up, so I, I, I see you putting it, putting the work on. So who you working with and what you got coming up? Oh, I got a free mixtape. Right, that's what I'm. That's what I'm working on right now. It's gonna be a free mixtape, like I said. It's on industry beats. Then I got it's up two on the way. Right, you know, probably heard about the first mixtape. It's up. I got it's up two on the way. We're about to drop that. Then, um, far as anything else, I'm still traveling. COVID ain't stopping nothing. I'm still moving, networking. You know, so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty much twenty. The rest of 2021, 2022, we are turning up. So it's turned up. So that's yeah. what I was gonna ask you next. How is COVID affecting the movement? Because some people moving a lot and some people not so much. So I was wondering how you was moving during the COVID, but like you say, you're turning up, so I already see what it is. So has, has, 
Has COVID made you change anything? Like has COVID impacted your, your, your life as an artist at all, whether positively or negatively? How has it influenced, I mean, affected right. your life? Oh uh, yeah, as far as in the music industry, it has, but it has at the same time, just due to the fact of you can't go, you couldn't go as many places as you wanted to and when you wanted to at some point in time. Then for certain shows, you might have to go through the um through the mayor to get the to get the okay to do the show and then a whole lot of stuff. But for on the other hand, it, it hasn't really changed anything because I'm still moving, I'm still doing shows, I'm still in the studio, I'm still networking, I'm still collaborating with different artists, so it really ain't stopping nothing. That's what's up. That's it. that's that's because you grind hard. I see I that's that's it. the difference. I love that's it. I difference. love it. So before we let you go, King Belly, I want um I want you to tell us, you know, what you would advise, you know, some of the younger, you know, I know you you're still youthful as well, but some of the younger ones coming up and wanting to do what you're doing, what would you say has been one of the biggest roadblocks and um any type of advice you would give for other young and up and coming rappers? The re- the biggest roadblock that an upcoming artist can have isn't even they self. It's it's it is their self, but it's not their self. It's their their vision of how they think people look at them and their music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for my young artists out there, when you when you make your music, don't sit there and think you any less your music is any less than any other body, any other person's music. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you're you're not as hard, you're not as hot, you're not as cool as any other artist. You know what I'm saying? Because it's stuff that you might not like, stuff that you might not think is gonna is gonna be that song that does better than any song you ever thought would take you somewhere. So that's um that's one of the biggest stops in there. And uh, just keep your head up and keep grinding, you know what I'm saying, through all what people say and all of that. Just don't even worry about the hate, criticism. Just go ahead and make your music and put your heart into it and go to the fullest. So that's really what I got to say. I love that, it. That's some true advice, though, because a lot of artists do put out songs, and, and a lot of times the label even end up picking a song or vice versa. They pick a song over the label, and it end up being a big song when other people was like, nah, that might not be it. And it's because you right. felt it, right? It's what you put into it, and you say, this is going to be it. And it ended up being it, and a lot of people might not have believed it. So you just got to believe in yourself. I like how you rocking. And I, I, I wish too. you guys um, all the success, um, your whole camp, yep. everything y'all got rocking, man. And so um, salute to you. Salute to you. And thank you for being a part of our Spotlight family. Anytime our platform, if you're ever in the DMV physically, please make sure you pull up. Yeah, pull up. Spotlight on. over the city. We'd love to have you perform live one day on our show. And um, yeah, keep in touch with us, and we, yeah, for we, sure. we like what you're doing. And salute to you. But before you get out of there, though, I gotta ask you though, what's that artist you're listening to when you got that one hour trip? You know, you an artist, so who 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 are you gonna pop in there and listen to for that one hour ride? You got you can't switch it once you put them in there for the whole hour. Who it's is only it one be? artist. I gonna pick one artist. One artist. That's it. On a ride. That's a whole one one hour. hour. You for can't one switch. Hour. Once you put it in, you can't switch. One it got to be all their whole catalog, whatever it is, that's that one artist. Who is it? I got to say Young Boy, NBA. NBA, NBA Young, young Boy. boy. <laughs> he, he in a lot of trouble <laughs> right now, too. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, I guess a lot of people would say that. Shout out to NBA Young Boy, and I hope yeah, it, I, I, I'm wishing right him now. the best yeah. um, in his situation. I, I hope I hope he surround himself with some good people to get him um, some good advice because that young boy got a good grind but yes. he, he, he running into a lot of trouble so I hope he get good yes indeed. yeah that, that ain't a bad choice he makes some hard music though I already see where you at yes, he makes some indeed. hard music yeah so King Belly <laughs> yeah. why don't you um, tell everybody how they can follow you and support your music and we got to get out of here I most definitely you can follow me on all platforms social media platforms at King Belly Music that's K-I-N-G B-E-L-I Music all platforms everywhere, even as far as mixtape, music, videos, anything, every every platform. Go get it right now. King Belly Music. King Belly That's Music, y'all. Y'all got it. Y'all give it up.